panel dinner is served. In today's episode, we are going to make bruschettas. So bruschettas are basically an Italian starter that is made with bread, with garlic rubbed over it and eaten with olive oil. So that is the very basic recipe of a bruschetta. But then there are many variations to it with regards to the seasoning or, or the topping that we put on top of it. We can use cheese, we can use chicken, we can use tomatoes, mushrooms, whatever we like. So today I'm going to show you a recipe with tomatoes, onions, basil, garlic, olive oil and a few other things here and there. And with a little twist and tips that I use to just indulge a little more, add a little more butter because everything is better with butter. So basically and most importantly, it's quick, easy and tasty and you're going to love it. So let me take you over the ingredients and we can get started. You will need 50 grams of butter, one onion finely chopped, 100 grams cherry tomatoes chopped, 3 tablespoons garlic, 1 4 teaspoon pepper salt to taste, oregano 1 4 teaspoon, 3 tablespoon olive oil, and baguette bread. We are first going to make the topping for the bruschetta. For that, we are going to combine most of our ingredients together. So we'll start with our onions. tomatoes, basil, some olive oil, just a little more, yep. and pepper oregano if you can get fresh oregano nothing like it and lastly salt so about the salt start with a little and then work your way up because the salt content is really high in this because it will taste really salty. Now we are going to just mix our ingredients together. And I will show you what the next step is. For the next step I am going to add about half of our butter into a frying pan. And the garlic, and I'm going to turn my flame up on a medium high and let the garlic cook in the butter and make it a little golden brown, and then I'll tell you what the next step is. As you can see the garlic has become a little brown and now we are going to add our veggies into this. So we are going to just toss our veggies for about a minute and a half just so that they really get the flavor of the garlic and all the flavors combined together. To me honestly Nothing is better than the smell of butter and garlic cooking together. I mean for me that is just smell heaven if that's even a thing. But I'm just going to toss these for about a minute and a half and then we'll work on our bread. For the next step in the same pan that we use for our veggies, I'm going to place the bread that I have sinfully buttered and we're going to toast them until they're perfectly done and I'm going to turn my flame up on a medium high 
toast them perfectly and then I'll show you what the next step is. So the bread for our bruschetta is now ready. This is how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to be completely well done like this. Make sure you don't burn it, but just make it super crispy. So now we're gonna put this together and then we can taste it. So let's get to our next step. So our bruschettas are ready. I'm so excited to taste it. So I've put the bread on the side and the seasoning on the side. I haven't put it on top of each other at a party or whatever. You know, whenever you're eating it, you can always put it on the side. But, you know, you can always just put the seasoning on top of the bread and lay it like that. It's up to you how you want it. So I put it on the side and I can literally hear the drum roll, but it's in my stomach. And let's try it. I just have to go in for another bite, sorry. Mm. Mm. Divine. I mean, this is literally all my favorite ingredients into one. Garlic, butter, olive oil, basil this is just my thing so i just wanted to tell you that today i used a, a basic baguette bread you can use whatever bread that you like any loaf bread and you can cut it the way you like it so i uh, got it cut exactly in this shape from the supermarket that i bought it but if your market doesn't cut it for you you can always cut it yourself in whichever shape that you like and I would also like to tell you that you should, you know, try your own tips and tricks uh, at this recipe because you can really just bring out the master chef in you, uh, use whatever veggies that you like, whatever toppings that you like, and please let me know how that tastes. And in the near future, I am going to try to, you know, just Indianize uh, a bruschetta and see how that comes out so I can share the recipe with you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, dinner is served is all about experiencing the joy of cooking. Thank you so much and bye-bye. If you like my videos, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. If you want updates on my latest videos, you can press the bell icon and I have attached the instructions and the ingredients in the description box down below. So don't forget to check that out. Until next time, bye-bye. Thank you so much.